Hello students, good day to you. Today I am going to discuss about test 13 of your English paper. Test 13 of second paper is a reading question which carries five marks. In the new syllabus, it started in 2016, test 13 was a categorizing question. On the screen here, now you can see that question. In 2017, it was a poem. A poem is given and you need to answer the given question. In 2018, there is something different. A dictionary page is given and you need to answer the given question. In last year, in 2019, it was a matching item question like this. You may get a question from test 13 from one of above mentioned types of reading questions. Today, actually, I am going to discuss how to answer a question on a reading a dictionary page. So I narrow down my lesson on reading a dictionary page question. In the new syllabus, there is a reading dictionary page question in 2018, short while ago, you saw that question. And before that, in years 2010, 2012, and 2015, there are questions on reading dictionary page. Before getting to know how to answer a dictionary page question well, let me teach you, in short, some important aspects or techniques you need related to reading a dictionary page. Here, yeah, first one, entry words. Entry words are the words which are listed in dictionary. They are in bold text. Word class, otherwise parts of speech. Every word in a dictionary are coming with a word class. Otherwise, every word in a dictionary has a word class. For example, given in the screen now, See that word they, that is the entry word, its word class is pronoun. Otherwise, they is a pronoun. Like that, there are many uh, word classes, noun, verbs, pronoun, adjective, adverbs, preposition, interjections, and conjunctions. Also, you need to be thorough with the abbreviation used in dictionary. For example, in some dictionaries, the Noun is indicated uh, by letter N, like that verb, adverbs, adjectives, conjunctions, plural, and uh, there are several uh, abbreviations for some words. Otherwise, they, these are the word class uh, shown in a dictionary. The other very important thing is meanings, otherwise, definition provided in a dictionary. Here, look at this example word edition. It has uh, numbered as one, two, three. That means the word edition has three meanings. Here another example, word eyes. It has one, two, three, four, five meanings. Also, there are other information provided by a dictionary like synonyms, opposite words, idioms, phrasal verbs, plurals, adverbs, like that. They all have some symbols, S-Y-N, O-P-P, I-D-M, like that. Okay, here, let's see how to uh, find a synonym. Here, see this main entry word is definite. Uh, after, here, there, here is a symbol which symbolizes synonym, S-Y-N. And there is a word after the, this symbol, impressis. This impressis is the synonym for the word definite, like that in, in here. The main word, the entry word is legal. There is symbol as O double P, that is for opposite. So the, the word after this symbol O P P E is the opposite of word legal. That's opposite word of word legal is illegal. Plural also like that, it uh, has the uh, this symbol as PL. Idioms and phrasal verbs are also like that, 
so you need to find uh, if you need to find something like that you just find the abbreviation related to that uh, word whether it is synonym or opposite word or idiom and the word after that symbol is the opposite word or synonym synonym of that main entry word here is the summary what i taught you on a dictionary page you need to be thorough with these uh, parts of a uh, entry uh, here antonyms otherwise opposite words its uh, symbol is o double p and synonym similar words s y n and plurals idioms second meaning first meaning there can be more than one meaning for a, one word and like that so uh, you should be very thorough with these parts of the dictionary here let's move on a activity here i have given you a dictionary page and let's see the question find the word phrase for following meaning missing forfeited destroyed perplex here the meaning is given what you need to do is find the word which has the meaning of this phrase so let's move again to the dictionary page here see lost be seen forfeited destroyed or perplex so the word which has the meaning of that is the word lost so your answer is lost next question a strong feeling of affection here again a definition is given you need to find the word related to this definition see here a strong feeling of affection love so the answer is love otherwise the word which has the meaning of this is love what is the past participle form of verb lose past participle forms here you need to find word lose in the dictionary first lose here l o s e lose and it give past participle form of the word lose in symbol p p so the past participle form of the word lose is lost here yeah, lost so your answer should be lost what is the word class of word lottery word class of word lottery again you need to find the word lottery in the dictionary lottery here word lottery yeah uh, question ask the word class the word class of the lottery here the symbol n is there so the word class of lot word lottery is noun answer is noun fourth question what is louver here the word is given uh, question ask uh, the definition otherwise meaning of word louver then again you have to find the word louver in the dictionary page here it is lower l o u v e r lower an open turret or lantern on the roof of a building so that's the uh, answer should be this one this phrase uh, otherwise the meaning of the word lower here are the uh, answers for the activity one you can pause the video and check answers so i move on to next uh, activity number 2 that is the 2012 o level paper uh, let's see the questions pian who has played a wide variety of roles in a uh, movies is a person of exceptional blank so here a word a one word should be come here as the answer so let's see here is the word as versatile versatile let's see the meaning able to do many different things he is a versatile actor uh, after this word there is another this versatile is uh, adjective the noun of this word versatile is versatility here now versatility noun here the sample uh, sentence is given uh, example sentence she is a design of extraordinary versatility extraordinary versatility here the extraordinary means the word 
here exceptional so here the answer is this uh, versatility same like the uh, sample sentence given in the uh, dictionary question number two a particular pattern in which poetry is written is called you yes, see this versification versification the art of writing poetry the art of writing poetry so your answer is versification question number three a person who possess possesses a lot of knowledge and is highly skilled is called a well blank person see this first having a lot of knowledge about something or skill at something so answer is first answer is first a person who possess a lot of knowledge and is highly skilled is called a well versed person fourth question what word is used in medicine to describe an infection on foot see here veruca veruca it has the meaning a small hard infectious growth like a wart but so the answer is not veruca the question is what is the word used in medicine so here again see here there's another word as veruki verukai sorry verukai here it is the medical uh, term related to the word verukai so your answer should be verukai last question the opposite of the word verso opposite of the word verso in this case again you have to find the word verso on the dictionary page verso is here the opposite symbol is here so the word after the opposite symbol is the opposite of word was verso so here the answer is recto here i have given you the, all the answers uh, and you check you can check these answers with your answers question um, activity number 3 it is the 2018 o, o level question let's see the question find a word or phrase for each of following descriptions there are four phrases you need to find the word which has the meaning of these phrases in the dictionary page let's see the first one a phrase similar in meaning to neat and clean neat and clean here just see this word speak it is an adjective it has an idiom as speak and span the meaning of this phrase uh, phrase speak and span is neat and clean so your answer is speak and span second one a metal point set into the sole of a running shoe see here on the dictionary page a metal point attached to a to the sole of a sport shoe so the answer is spike correct answer is spike third question a creature that feed on insects creature that feed on insects see here the word spider a, a small creature with eight thin legs so the correct answer here spider fourth question an outdoor tap see here a device in a tap or faucet that controls the flows of liquid from a container any tap or faucet specially one outdoors so the correct answer is spigot correct answer is spigot last question sri lankan food is very blank because the cooks because the cooks add many things to flavor them sri lankan food is very blank because the cooks add many things to flavor them 
see see here but spicy of food having a strong taste because spices have been used in flavor so the correct answer is spicy sri lankan food is very spicy because the cooks add many things to flavor them here are the answers for activity 3 here uh, i hope that you enjoy the lesson and i wish you all the best for your o level examination thank you